Hi and hello. In the last video, we created a template image for rolling out new session host. So let us do this today. First, I reload my environment with in WD admin. It takes a few seconds. And I can see the image I created in the last video. It's template WD prod 01. Let me first create a new host pool within WD admin for the new session host. I go to host pools, right click, add a shared host pool, a multi session host pool. I give it a name. Um, demo. Demo is fine. I select the subscription. I go for the spoke subscription and the resource group should be in my example. Where it is. Let us use RG template WED. And I select a location for the metadata. Okay, that takes a second or two. And now I have a new host pool called demo. Let me configure it first. I would set the session limit to 10. Click on save, that is fine. Then I create an application group for the desktop. Demo desktop application group as a name in central US and I assign the all users group or members IT Pro Cloud. Oh I have another group as we for software WD all. Okay. So that is then in and let me finally link this new application group to a workspace or let me create a new workspace that is mandatory to see the application right click at workspace central OS is fine must be in the same region um, as a desktop group i give it a name demo workspace select a subscription and resource group and then I can click on OK and after the workspace is ready I can link the application group the demo desktop application group to this workspace so what I can do as well I can give the workspace a friendly name workspace for the demo for example and I can let me refresh the desktop application group there's a desktop I can give it a friendly name as well my desktop save change and if I open the remote desktop client and refresh I should see the new workspace and the new desktop that looks good and yes we have no session host right now so that is what we what we want to roll out now okay I scroll up and select my template image from the last video right click and select create a session host from image. So in the first text box you can give it a name. The hashtags are for a number which is um, it's counting up. So if I want to name it let me do WD demo and I want to have three chars for the numbers and I want to roll out for example, three session hosts. So I would expect that it uh, roll out WD demo 000 
001 and 002 later. I select the host pool from the list. It's demo. I select a subnet. There's only one subnet that is um, connected to the domain as well, to a domain controller. The resource group for the new host uh, session host. I select the last resource group. The disk size. Let me start with standard SSD and a disk um, and a VM type. I want to start with DS DS4V3. And then I have to enter some other values, like the domain user, that is a user which must which should have or must have the permission to add a computer object to the domain and the domain FQDN. In my case, it's IT Pro Cloud, IT Pro Cloud .test. That is the internal name of my domain. Um, a local admin name. I use local admin and give it and I give the local admin a secret password. Make sure that the password you enter is complex enough. And I have to select an organization unit. If I left this empty, then the session host would be joined into the computer OU, the default OU. But I will um, enter here a, um, a value later. So let me first go for a domain user. I have a connection to my domain controller open. And I start dsa.msc. So that is my architecture, my structure from my domain. Here is itprocloud.test, the internal name. And let me first create a functional a service user who is then permitted to add computer objects to a OU of my choice. So um, org users services in my case and let me add a new user new user I will name it name the user the functional user as a v w v d demo join. I select the UPN IT Pro Cloud .de and I have to give it a name. So that's the name. And I enter a password, which is complex enough. And I deselect user must change password on next login. And in my case, I either like to never expire, so the user can then work unintendedly. So we have now this user, and I want to join the WD session host into the OU organization. This server side Azure WD, and I add a new OU. Call it demo and at this OU I delegate access to add computer object to my new service account. Next, select the user as my SRV WD demo join. Next, create a custom task to delegate. Next, only the following objects in the folder, computer objects, create and select objects in this folders. And I would also have the permission to delete the selected object. Next, 
and then I have to select general and creation deletion of specific child objects. Create all child objects. So next. And that should be all. Finish. I go back to WD admin. I add the domain user who can add the new session host to the domain. Cloud.de and the password. That must be done only one time. That will be stored in the registry in the current user object encrypted so that you can reuse it later um, and that you don't have to put in all the things if you roll out new session hosts. So let me go back to the domain controller. I go for properties. I want to copy the path of the OU. Let me first switch to the advanced, always oh, advanced view. Then I should be able, able to copy the path. Ah, distinguished name, there it is. And I copy the full string. And this is then in the right notation to name the organization unit. So that looks good. There are some other things you can select. That is what I will show you in, um, in the next video. So I hope I didn't make a mistake. And then let us start with start rollout. And you can see it starts rolling out WD demo one, two and three. <laughs> and I get a problem, an error message for the last virtual machine. Creation of a new VM from template failed. I have not enough cores on this subscription. So let us ignore the last virtual machine, the demo 003, and let us wait for the 001 and 002. In this step, WD Admin access the new created virtual machine and applied a custom script. The script joined the VM to the domain and it also add the virtual machine as a session host to the selected host pool. The rollout of the session host is now ready and now it takes a few minutes before we can see the session host in WD admin. The reason is the virtual machine is restarting to complete the domain join and after the restart it will show up in WVD after a while. So let us scroll down to the session host, uh, to the host pool. It was a demo one. I click on session host to see the session host list. It's still empty. And let us wait a few seconds and then refresh sometimes. Oh, that was fast. So both session hosts are visible. They are still unavailable. It takes a while. They are the virtual machines are starting, and um, after the start, we should see that the virtual machine comes online and available. So this was fast. I think the full process for rolling out two session hosts took 12.01 or six to seven minutes. I think that was fast. So let us test the virtual machine, the session hosts.
and then there it is. That looks great. There is a My Desktop in the workspace for the demo. Let us try to start. The user is locked in to the session host. And if I go to back to WBD admin, I should see the session. I scroll down to the session host, to, to the session hosts. I give it a refresh. And there, there is a user. It's on the second virtual machine. And I should see the user also here. WVD010 on the second fresh rollout session host. So that was pretty easy. Feel free to use it. And if you have enough cores in your subscription available, you can roll out much more a host uh, than two in one step. Easily go up to the number you want to have in your in your host pool. Thanks a lot and hopefully I see you on the next video.